Alright, hey guys, um, I asked a couple of my friends, um, about some questions, if they had any about me, um, and I got like six, um, so I'm gonna be answering them here, um, comment below if you wanna see another, um, Q&A video, and drop some questions um i'll do my best to answer them in this video and yeah all right first question this is from my friend maya um actually these five are from her um and she's also girl bmxer on youtube she's really cool go check her out go subscribe to her um, like her videos, and she's really cool. We're gonna do a collab soon. Um, yeah. So, did you? She said, How did you. How did you come out to your friends? Wait. How did you come out and tell your friends? Well, I, um, I really didn't think about it. Um, I basically just kind of talked to my friend, to my friend Olivia, and I told her how I was feeling, and she was like, man, you might be trans. And I'm like, I'll go look that up. So I did. And I figured out that all my feelings that I was feeling and that I'm still feeling um, trend, that I'm transgender. Um, so I'm only 12. So I haven't done anything except get a binder. Um, and that's to bind back your boobs, so they don't, you, it doesn't look like you have any. Unless you're fat, and then it looks like you have boobs, and boobs, um, but whatever. Um, anyways, so I basically just went to, from friend to friend, and told them that, how I felt, that I felt like a boy trapped in a girl's body and that I couldn't take being like this kind of like a fake person anymore I wanted to be to be a man and I still want to be a man but I'm only like thir 12 13 my birthday's in August so I don't know what to say um but yeah and then I grew and then I created a huge group chat of all the friends that I've told and some that I didn't and I told them all at once and then I asked for their opinion on my name and there were some really cool ones like there was Ryan and Trevor and stuff like that and Devin X um, but I kind of just lean towards Max. I mean, I've always liked the name. <laughs> My family thinks that I picked the name because of a dog that my aunt you my aunt has, but that's not the reason. Um so yeah, that's that question. All right. Next question from again, go be a maxer. Are you very, very, very happy that you have the friends to help you out? Yes, I am extremely happy to have friends in my corner. Figure of speech. Um, I have. I, I even consider my mom type of a friend, I guess, in this, 
Because, like, she really supports me and stuff. So, yeah. But I am glad to have all my supporters. Like, all my friends. And that just support me. Um, whether they agree with transgender. And if it's right or not. Or not. Um, I mean, that's their opinion if they don't. But, whatever. It's, whatever. Um, but at least they're there for me, and they support me. Um, so that answers that question. Next question is from, again, Girl BMXer. <clears throat> How did teachers help you out? <sighs> this is going to be a long one. So, I'm going to kind of switch that question around um basically how did teachers how did I tell teachers that I came out how did they help me um well I went to school one day and I was going to have a private conversation with the best teacher in the world um, Miss Wanzer, which is my humanities teacher. Humanities is a mix of language arts and social studies. So that's a new program. Um, a new class and everything. Anyways, so, and I went to school thinking, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a private conversation with her. We're gonna talk about this. Yeah. Well, that private conversation did not happen that day. Um, instead, I wrote her a note um about how I felt and about that I and I basically just came out to her um I felt safe enough to come out to her not necessarily other teachers on the team but I mean that I I felt really safe telling her cuz she can kind of, she's kind of been through some of this, not really, um, but with like sexuality and stuff. So I kind of felt like really close to her and kind of just, you know, safe. Um, it's not that I didn't like any other teachers on my, any other teachers on my team. Oh. Um, it's that... I knew that she would listen, and I knew that she would sit there and not criti criticize. Um, not that any of the other teachers do, but, I mean, I just, I kind of felt the connection. Um, and so, later on, like, a couple days after, she called my mom. She asked if it was okay to have a meeting with me, um, just me and Miss Wanzer, and talk about this one on one. Um, and she, in that meeting, meeting, she told me that she supports me one hundred percent, and she's honored to just be that safe. Place, safe person um and then she asked me to if it was okay if she told the guidance counselor miss stone now she's a freaking b word i don't want to say it because yeah um but she creeps everybody out nobody likes her all right maybe a couple people but they creep me out so whatever um and so I was like, no, I had like this facial expression, like, mm, there's a problem with that. Um, so she was like, I can tell from your facial expression that you don't want me to tell Miss Stone. And I just sit there like an idiot, smiling and nodding really fast. Um. Anyways, so, 
she asked me next if she could tell all of the teachers on team. And at that moment, I was just like, like, I have a teacher that supports me through this. And she's going to tell other teachers on the team. And I didn't know how they would take it. I mean, they have team meetings, like teacher meetings. Um, and I didn't know how they were going to take it. But it kind of figures out that they all supported me. And I'm kind of glad that I got to know them. And they got to know the me. The me. The person that I want to be. And that I want to become. Um, so, that was kind of an aha moment. Alright, this other one. That question was really long. Uh, this other one is from, again, Girl BMXer. Um, what mostly changed for you? I have no clue what she means by that, but, um, I'm gonna go through, the, like, the people, um, my, kind of, like, what changed, not much has changed in my perspective, like, they still look at me the same, except they just call me a different name and different pronouns, the pronouns that I want to be called, um, my mom, she, I don't know how to word this, like, she, um, she kind of, she's helping me through this change, and it's kind of cool. Shout out to my mom. You're awesome. Love you. Um, and I got my first binder, like, a couple weeks ago, and she bought it for me. And then I got another one, and I like that one more. Um, but, yeah, she's, she's helped me, and... That, that's a big change for her as well as for me and like I need I'm still getting used to people just calling me Max I mean there are some slip ups every now and then where I answer to Vicky or Victoria but I mean I'm, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting it um I mean, I really hate those, I don't hate those pronouns, I just dislike the name on me, for me, and I just don't like the pronouns. For me, for me, for me. If you have, you have girl pronouns, I bless you, you're awesome, y'all are awesome. Anyways, so that's, and not much has changed for me, I mean, I'm just kind of me. I'm becoming this man that I was destined to be, and it's kind of cool. Alright, this last question from Girl BMXer is, what is your favorite food? Maya, I hate you. Maya is Girl BMXer. Um, to answer your question, my favorite food is chocolate. <laughs> Alright. Now, let's move on from Girl BMXer. And on to my friend Alex. She said, What was your biggest fear about coming out? My biggest fear of coming out was that I was scared of what my family would think and that they would like shun me and most of my family does still doesn't know because I'm afraid they'll shun me because they're wicked Catholic. Um and it, oh, so in their day it wasn't acceptable. And it didn't happen very much. But I've realized that, that I have a lot of people that support me and love me and 
when I first came out, I, I, I was at my grandmother's and I, my heart was just racing. I felt like it was just going to pop out of my chest. Like, I was so scared. I didn't know what my mom would think. I didn't know what she would say. I didn't know what anybody would say. I was so scared that nobody would support me and I would just have to live this life by myself on my own. But it comes to find out that my mom does support me. My friends do support me. My even my teachers support me. The creepy guidance counselor supports me. The other really cool guidance counselor supports me. My girlfriend supports me. Now, if that isn't awesome, I don't know what it is. Um, sorry to take up most of your time, um, but that's the end of my Q&A. Um, drop comments below, subscribe, like, comment, tell people about Take cats, family, dogs, blah, 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 blah. peace, love, happiness. Y'all are awesome. See ya.